Hello boys and girls, Mrs Briggs here and I've come to visit you today to ask you a question. I want to know how you are feeling today. I feel happy because I have come to see you all on dojos and have had a look at all the lovely learning you've been doing and all your photographs and that's made me feel very happy and also because later on today at tea time we're going to have spaghetti bolognese for tea and that's my favourite yum 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 so I'm looking forward to that and that is why I'm feeling happy so I've come to talk to you about feelings and the different feelings that we can have and what they look like so on the count of three can you show me a very excited face? Give it your best go. Some of these faces are tricky to do. I'll join in too. One, two, three. Oh, exciting. I love getting excited about things like, um, I don't know, going to the park and things like that or going on rides or playing a new game. I know some of those things we can't do at the minute. So the question is, how do you feel about that? Because I feel a little bit sad. I feel sad about that. And sometimes I feel a bit, a bit cross, a bit grumpy about it. So anyway, I thought I would draw a few different feelings pictures. And I thought it might be something that when you've done your um, other super duper busy jobs for your teachers, if any of you want to have a go, it might be a really good one to practice. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. You might be wondering what this is. Am I doing some maths? Are these plates of food? No, these are going to be my faces. Now I know Mrs. Taylor, she did some super duper face drawings the other day and she was talking about the oval shape and that's absolutely right. So if you want to do yours as ovals, that would be much better. So I've got my um, I've got my faces with the eyes and I'm going to draw some mouths on them and maybe some eyebrows because look, ooh, 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 they are part of your face and they are a really big clue sometimes as to how someone is feeling because sometimes it's about what you see but it can be about what you can hear as well. Um, in real life that is. So if you can hear this, <laughs> You might think that someone is crying and they are sad and upset and you might want to ask them why and see if there's something you can do to help them feel better. They might not know why. Sometimes you don't. Right, so the first one I'll go for is happy because we've already said that one, haven't we? Can you be thinking of any more? Happy. I'm going to draw a big smile. Ta-da! And I'm going to do some happy eyebrows. Look, these, these are my happy eyebrows. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, um, any other feelings that we can think of? Should we go for sad straight off the bat? Because that's one we've talked about, isn't it? So happy to sad. Can you show me a sad face? One, two, three. Are you ready? Show me a sad face when I count to three. One, two, three. <gasps> oh, oh, I hope you're okay. Right. That was, that was a good one. You were good at that. So we're going to do a sad face. Now, sad faces. It's like an upside down oh, isn't it? Like that. Sometimes there's tears. So you could draw some tears if you wanted. I've got a blue here, look. Like I said to you before, if you just have pencils at home, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we've got some tears here, but you don't always see tears. And maybe the eyebrows will pop some on here as well. So we've got two faces, two different feelings. Can anybody think of any more? Happy, sad. Oh, I've thought of one. I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, so in the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, when Daddy Bear realises that someone has been in his house, someone has eaten his porridge, broken his son's chair and now she's having a nap. 
upstairs. Oof. How do you think he felt, boys and girls? He felt cross. So very cross and angry. So I'm going to draw a face for angry now. How do you think that one looks? Oof. It's a tricky one to do with the mouth, actually. Doing some eyebrows now. I'm going to show you in a minute. You can let me know what you think. Are you ready? This is angry. What do you think to that? Is that a good angry face? Can you do an angry face? And people can get angry about lots of different things. And um, it's quite a normal feeling to have. So you might have felt angry before. And that's okay if you felt angry before. Um, because usually you can, be, you can feel really angry at the time. But then it passes. Oh, and you feel so much better then. So I am inviting you boys and girls to draw three others that you can think of all right you might need to ask a grown-up for some help with ideas or you might have some already yourself okay that you think you could draw and i would love to see some okay i'll see you soon boys and girls i'll keep looking to check i hope you have a good day